Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, I'm gonna show you a quick video of what I'm doing on this uh, Angel Death statue. It's actually a repair. I picked up the statue a couple years ago. There's only three, just this phone here, excuse me a second. There you go. There's only 300 of these statues made. I ended up number 74. Produced by ARH Studios. I'm, I'm sure it's long sold out. It was the Angel of Death. And yeah, it's a pretty cool statue. I mean, the bottom half's in the cabinet upstairs. I wasn't gonna drag the bottom half down here with this stuff here, because the bottom half's fine. And you know how it is, you, the more you handle statues, the more you care in one place or another, the more chance of them breaking, so I don't want to take any chances. But the, the, the um, detail on this is pretty cool. Alright, so that's the top part. And on the back, these wings go on there. These things are massive. And it goes back here. A little square right there. You see that? Those two go together. So, I mean, these wings, like I said, they're massive. Look at the size of them. Right in my hand. So I can tell how big this is. They're pretty pliable here. I won't bend too much, but as you get up here, it gets stiffer up here. So what happened was, it was pretty good in the, in the on the shelf for a while, for about two or three months. It was you know I'm probably longer than that, maybe four or five months. And all of a sudden, I heard a thud in the room, and I couldn't really figure out what what happened. These wings actually came off the back and hit the back of the cabinet, the shelving. Luckily, it was that far back; it just sat there. There was enough of a noise to it that I heard it from the other room. So I went to look and I realized the wings were off. I pushed it back in and seemed like it held okay. Well, little did I know that the magnet that was in the center here, ignore these three right here. Those are irrelevant right now. The center magnet that was inside there that the post that's in here gets magnetized to came off. It was gone. I couldn't find it. So it must have happened the first time it came apart. Apparently the glue let go in there and the magnet came out with that and I didn't realize it. I put it back in. The magnet was somewhere else. didn't realize it. So... That was years ago, and I packed it away. I moved, so then I took it out, out again to put on display, and that's when I realized the magnet was gone. <laughs> so it's been a while. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I put a another magnet in there, and let me show you the magnets I got here. Got a little assortment. So this is one of the magnets I put in there. It's obviously just another one of these. Is uh, let me just take one out and show you how about that. Here you go. So I think it's like four millimeter or six millimeter. So that's in the center hole here. And there's also these other three dots. I'll tell you what those are now. There's actually three more of these. I drilled three holes to try to reinforce it. So I had one in the center and the three holes here. And obviously, same thing happened with uh, the wings. Put the three magnets here and the center post. But then I realized I had to put it together. It wouldn't hold. It was still wobbly. The piece in the back of him is pretty out, pretty worn out. This thing just wobbles in there. And also another problem came right out. <laughs> so it wasn't set in very well either that, that way. When you put it in this way, in the center there, such play you gotta see. I mean it's it's really it was really disappointed to see that happen. It's like okay. So I'm gonna have to drill it out and modify it. So what I did was I came up with these magnets, I found them on eBay. There's round magnets with holes in the center, which I thought was pretty cool. I figured the post would fit right in there. I could leave it in there and just rebuild the back of the, the, the angel death body. But the problem is it doesn't fit into that hole. So to remedy that, I came up with another idea. So I've used another statue I saw um, Vince Mel Custom, John Fitchie do it on his, his videos and statues. Using key stock and brass tubing. Basically the, the whole idea is you set this key stock up, set them in the wing where that post is, put this in place of that, and put this in the back of the angel of death body and then they'll, they'll slide into the back of the, the body here and it'll basically slide in okay so I'll leave the magnet inside here because being that this key stock is metal it will grab to that and these are, are there still so it does grab the center so this brass tube will be in the center this will be in the center of the wings the slide into there so I have three points of contact the, the square the key stock going inside the sleeve, the magnet inside here, holding on to this metal this key stock. And I'm also going to do is drill out these magnets, magnets I put in there. And I got two of these round magnets and put one inside the back here and one on the wings here. Pretty much I take the post out. It's useless now anyway. It doesn't stay centered because one of these magnets is repelling it, but basically right about the center here. You get the idea. And the key stock would be in the center of that. 
like that. That's basically going to be obviously shorter. Then I'll have this, this, and also this four, actually four points. This triangle shape will hold it too. So magnet holding this, that magnet, this drive into the square, and this. So we should be able to hold it pretty well. So I was concerned, and that's why I got these magnets. These things are pretty strong. I found that they're strong, but very delicate. So I have another one here. I have about 12. I only have 11 now. I'll tell you why. But they're pretty strong. If you put them together, they're really hard to pull apart. I mean, you got to pretty much slide it apart. Okay, so that should work really well. So the reason I only have 11, what I didn't realize was that I had one on the table looking at it. I had the others that came in a container like this. There's the other ones. Came in a steel container. And they put foam on there so it wouldn't go anywhere. But like I said, there was 12, there's 11 now because I had this bunch sitting on the table and another one single by itself. The single one was attracted by these other uh, magnets here. It pulled it to the next one and shattered in three pieces. So strong magnets are very delicate. I mean, that's one thing you should note about magnets. They're uh, really strong, but they can be really delicate. You shouldn't space them that far apart. That was totally unintentional. I wouldn't do that on purpose because not only did I lose a magnet, but there's shrapnel all over. It may cracked in like three pieces and some minor pieces, small ones too. So I had to clean it up. But um, kind of surprised to see that. Kind of, kind of heard about before that they do that, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. So I'll put these magnets on the back of the body, on the wing. When I come back, you'll see the video I'll, I'll, I'll do after that is these will be fitted in there, sized up, and I'll show you the progress. So I'm going to have to put this in there with Magic Sculpt, and this as well. Size that up first before I put the magnets in. Otherwise, if I put the magnets in, probably really a hard time pulling apart. Well, I'll come back with a video in a little bit and show you what I did. Um, and we'll go from there. Actually, this, this magnet, I think, was the one that got hit. Let me see something here. I think this might get chipped a little bit, too. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. See right there in the notation? See that? That's one of the chips that came out, I believe. Hmm. It's still a good magnet, though. It still works. So, all right, guys, I'll be back in a little bit with continuation of this video. I don't want to go too long on the beginning, but I'll when I come back, I'll have the progress on it. Have the other magnets drilled out, and we get ready to put it together and show you what I'm doing next. Thanks. See you in a little bit. Okay, so I drilled out the back of the Angel of Death, his body. Drilled out the hole like I was talking about earlier for the magnet and also on the wings. As you can see here, it's all drilled out. If you did angle there, these holes here will be covered, will be filled up with mass, um, magic sculpt eventually. And this will be a rod in here. So let me show you real quick what I'm doing with the body first. So with the body, I was going to put the square rod in there. Problem was, with the square rod, let me show you real quick. It's not fitting inside, like I think I explained it earlier, it was not fitting inside the hole there. So what I did was, I put a little notch, cut some notches in there. I don't know if you can see them or not. See how it's squared off a little bit? So I could put the rod on there. It's a brass rod, so it's not magnetic, so at least it's pretty stationary. So now, when I put this in, I recut the piece of this, so I'll center it about there. The magnet stays in. I cut the little piece for it that goes in there. Let's see if I get this on there, probably. So it sits pretty flush once it's um, sealed up in there. It's it's glued in there. It's a magic sculpt and some super glue. That's basically what it'll look like. Except that I'm trying to get more square. I'm trying to get even. Actually, let's do this. Yeah, the trick is you have to use stuff that's not magnetic. <laughs> so, things you find, this is like for knitting. I just had extra, my mom had one of these laying around probably at some point. Came across these, but here you go. It's not magnetic, it's not steel, so. But anyway, this will be centered with the other rod here, so that's that. This one's ready to go. Just got to fill it in, glue it in place, and that's, that's that. Now with this one, once again I drill it out, the magnet sits flush in there, and just set it in place, so you see it's pretty flush, 
and this rod will be sticking out of this. Of course, it's steel, it's magnetic, it's magnetized. And that's that. So now this will come out of here. And I had the magnet here, this will be all filled in. And the magnet will be grabbing onto the other magnet in this center piece. If you see it or not. Try to focus in on that if you can. There we go. So it'll be flush here. Once it's glued in, it'll stay stationary. And then it comes out the middle there. So next next step is to use a magic scrub down there, fill it in. I'll come back once that's done and once it's set in place. What I'm gonna do is put leave the magnet in this one, glue this in place first, then set the post in this other one here. Let me zoom out a little more. Set the post in this here, but take the magnet out because while that's drying over there, back here, if it's not dry enough and I put these two together, the magnet's gonna stick and I'm back to square one. So let me pause this for now and I'll still continue a little bit once I get these things glued in place. And we'll come back in a little while. Okay, so I decided I'm going to do this magic sculpt um, setting in place of the magnet and the post on camera. So I'll show you guys what I'm doing because some people are probably curious how it's done. And I mean, I want to make sure you guys understand how it's done if you haven't done it before. I'm going to set the camera up. All right, so what I did was I um, got two equal parts of magic sculpt, the resin and the hardener. It's about the same size. Put them together and mix them thoroughly. So you get an uneven color. Instead of you know, being two colors, it becomes all one. So it's all uniform. I'm gonna stick this, stick this inside the holes. I'm gonna put this rod in there to kind of compensate for the space and make sure it doesn't get occupied by the magic soap. Plus, if it gets in there and dries and inspect the screw, I want to drill it out. And it won't be pretty. <laughs> so it'll be pretty messy, actually. Let's mix it up really good. You can wear gloves when you use this stuff, but I don't use gloves. I mean, it's good to feel what you're working on. So. Personal opinion, that's why you do it this way. Obviously, you don't want to rub your eyes or anything else like that until you wash your hands, so. Okay, looks pretty uniform there. I've got him on this white um, foam board instead of the towel because he's got fingernails on here. You see those fingernails? If these get snagged on those rags or any of these towels, they'll snap right off, so. And unfortunately, I gotta keep them this way so I can work on them. All right, so we're gonna put this magnet and this little square brass tube inside the back of this guy. Get a little bit off of here. And let's see, I'll try to uh, fill in the sides first. I'm gonna have to put them down for a second. Kind of shove them in there. Fill the sides a little bit. I'm trying, I'm trying to avoid the center of the hole here because that's where the brass tube is going to go. This is tricky. Another way you can do this also is to put the tube in there and uh, just put the magic cup around it. But let's fix it this way first. A little less, maybe. Let's do this here. What do I do? Uh, one thing I want to make sure you also understand too, when you've got magnets, because I've done this before, and it's, it's you want to try to avoid a really big headache. You obviously know the magnets will go on one way, and right now they're fighting each other, so that's not how they go. So you got to make sure you put them the same way. So this is the one that got squared off, as you can see the lines here, it's all like a square. So this is going to have to go in like this. Because this side, it's got a little bubble. And this goes in the back. This will be on the wings this way. When you put on the wings, it'll be like this. So I gotta remember to put this beveled part right here facing up. So, so I'll make a quick note about that. So I'll do is I'll put this on the rod here in the square tube. Put it in place and put the magic sculpt in there. Let's see if we can have to do this here. It's gonna be tricky. Put it around there a little bit. Hopefully I can pull that out of there and 
If it gets too tacky, pack some more in here. There goes my dryer in the background. Huh? People hear you wondering what that noise is. <laughs> All right, so let's let's do this. Here I got another idea here. So it's tricky to work on something that's inside. Let's try this. Let's try the actual piece I'm putting together. How about that? Sorry, I should probably show you what I'm doing, huh? I'm gonna pack it under there. Pretty much like that. Try to avoid getting inside, anything inside the hole there. When I push it in place, I should be able to maneuver where I need to. I'm gonna throw some extra in those holes that are down here. Just to fill it up. Some probably spill out from what I put in there in the magnet here, but some may fill in the holes, but you never know. Let's put extra goes, you know, kind of take it off there. Got to be careful not to push too much. These nails can snap on this thing, so I'm sure there's a better way to prop this up. But if I'm gentle and just be careful with it, it should be okay. See, I'm just trying to fill up these holes that are here. I probably don't need to, but you know what? I'm just gonna do it. It's so I'll feel safer, I feel better about it. Take some of these tools that you come up with, you know. Just because it's made for re iron doesn't mean you have to use it for that. It's, it's you know, it's not magnetic, it can't be magnetized, so I use it for the magnets and all that stuff, so it comes in handy. The other tool I have for this this one but once again steel and it's will stick to the magnet it's kind of defeats the purpose okay need to put a little more in this corner I think it's cool you guys can see that all right so I think we're ready for this piece here. So now we're gonna put this magnet with this magic sculpt on there, push it in place. And um, let's see. Maybe with this to help. Kind of like a little guide of some sort. Yeah, I know it'd be tricky. <laughs> I just didn't realize how tricky. I guess I could have gone with a brass key stock, so nothing would be magnetized, but I was looking to get more support out of the magnet side there, so let's see. That sticks in there. Maybe push this down. That's what it's got to be. Rotate this so it's coming out straight. I mean, it doesn't matter, I guess, but I'm trying to make it as even as I can. Personal preference. I'm trying to push this down here now so I can magic sculpt. You can see it's spreading out, oozing out from underneath it. But that's the whole trick. You want to make sure it makes good contact with everything. When I pull this key stock out the back, when I pull it out, I'm going to make sure that. Um, doesn't pop the magnet because it's you know it's a steel magnet here magnet inside. It's got to look like it's even there. Push a little more. I think it's pretty level, even there, even there, even there. Okay, so what I have to do when I get to this point is I've got the BSI glue here. Now you guys can see it here. And I got the instant side. This is still square, probably though the little piece came out here. I've got another bottle just in case, but it should be okay. 
push the magnetic sculpt around here a little more so it grabs the magnet. Kind of like that. Okay. He's doing magnetic, so I have to try to. There we go. That's a little better. Make sure the square tube is down in there all the way. This should be. There we go. Go down a little more. Awesome. So that's coming out pretty straight, looks like, huh? Yeah, a little more this way. So I should be able to pull this out carefully. Actually, you know, I need two hands for this. I'm going to have to hold this down here. You know what? I've got a. I don't know. I think it's sooner. I got some 28 brass um, keystone that I actually got on accident. Imagine that. So I can try to use that on there. It was right here. It is. Okay, perfect. So this is not magnetic either. So I can use this in here. I don't have to worry about it coming out. Why didn't I get it sooner? It's pretty square where I want it. Okay. Cool. Now let's put some glue in there. Kind of hold it in place and set it. I mean, you want to put all the glue because all the glue won't hold the magic sculpt. It'll dry pretty good. And it'll hold pretty well. We put a nice big dose of glue there. And here. So. Lift off the magnet a little bit. Shouldn't matter anyway, it's pretty okay. All right, get a little bit to the insta set. Straight in there, what that does is hardens it up. As you can see, if you can see it or not, the glue is already drying, it just sets it really quick. It's great if you're holding something against something else, against someone else to spray it, you can hold it in place, two pieces together, and the insta set pretty much set it in place. So now it's, this is still moving a little bit because the magic sculpt needs to not dry, but the mag is no longer turning, being held in place. Awesome. Let the liquid go there a little bit. Wipe off the extra. It's designed not to damage paint. I mean, I haven't had a problem with it so far. You know, other guys have used it more than I have. Been doing, it, been doing this longer than I have, so. You don't have an issue with it, so it should be good. Alright. So that's that. That's what it looks like now from the back. The square tube may be sticking out a little bit too much. Just the hair. But if worst case scenario, I can always grind it down. I've got a square file. And I can file in there. Clean any burrs of any kind. Once I grind it down, if I have to. If I even have to. I think we should be okay. So that's that. Now, let's find and fix here. Yeah, it's pretty even with the surface, so we should be good. I'm going to put this guy this side over here somewhere. There's good. Let it dry overnight. But I'm still going to try to size up this now. Get rid of the white board there. So as you said earlier, I got to make sure I put the beveled side facing out in this one here. Same concept, I'm going to put the rod through there. Okay, get set in place here. And the magnets I get glued in place. And this one I can set it in place and just glue it in place there. This rock can go anywhere it wants after, after a while. I can fill that hole with magic sculpt and just stick this in there, put it on there with some um, 
fade powder so it doesn't stick to the other part. And we should be good. I got some extra, extra mega sculpt here actually. Little piece. It's gonna be as good as new. This um, be prepared for good. Last time was a temporary repair, and I was trying to get it to work, but it just wouldn't work. Those few magnets I put in there, once I took out, it's a shame. Like I said, I was saying earlier, it's a fairly uh, expensive statue to have something like that happen. It's crazy, but it does happen, which is perfect. Sometimes you gotta modify your statues. I mean, you can't rely on the manufacturer's tools to make it a top quality notch uh, statue. They should be better than what they are, right? Because you're paying for it. But it's a losing battle. You're fighting a losing battle there. You can almost get 100%. Okay, I'm going to set that in place. I mean, the hole's covered up, but I'll find the hole. Because once it gets negative in place, right down the center. Yeah, we're good. There's another dab here. So I made this where this basically will sit right in the groove here. Just like that. Alright. Push that in place. Hmm, now I gotta be careful with the magnets in there so this doesn't pull out. I got one to do that afterwards, didn't I? Yeah, so let's pull that out real quick. I goofed. <laughs> Try to get ahead of myself here. Let's leave that magnet off for now. I can always set it in later once I get this post set in there. I'm going to bring the um, other piece back. And kind of set where that goes. I can actually stick it in there. Let's see how this goes. It's going to be tricky to get it in there properly. I don't know if there's some stuff in here. We got to scraped out. Some glue. Yep. All right, so let's try it again. There's magic sculpt in there. Let me just throw a little bit more in there. Where's the magic sculpt? There it is. Let's see what we got. Pretty flush. Not a key stock stayed in there, but I got the indentation in there. I think I've got to dig some of that out because it didn't go all the way in. So let's try this here. That is flush. This again. Bear with me here. Okay. There we go. See, so this is a square right there, so it's perfect. Now, get my pliers and pull the sucker out of here. The magnet should stay in place, and it did. Beautiful.
All right, so that one can stay here to dry now. I'm gonna drive 24 hours. This rod, make sure I put the good end in there first. Okay. That one further than that. There we go. Yeah, it's a little tricky. We're still getting new at this. Nobody's ever perfect at this stuff, right? So this rod should go in further. I'm going to put the magnet in place once I find it again. There it is. This thing is pretty strong. Should be pretty square. I'm wondering if I should take this out and uh, let it dry, the other part dry till tomorrow, and then set this. I may have to do that because I'm worried now if I put this magnet in place with the other one, that's going to happen, right? This is still wet. This is going to stay in there inside the body. I'm trying to put it together to keep it separated. I wonder if I spray the glue on there and come back in a little bit and try it. So make sure this um, post is not stay in place where it's supposed to be, you know, not supposed to be. All right, let me pause this. I'm going to glue that in place. Let's sit for about five, ten minutes, and then uh, try to uh, put it back in the body and see how it is. Come back a little bit. Okay, so finishing off this uh, repair on this angel death statue, I uh, ended up putting the magnet back here. The round magnets we talked about earlier, I showed you earlier, and the square tubing, brass tubing. There's also a magnet still inside there in the center there. And on the wings, we had, had installed a uh, round magnet here and also the eighth inch key stock post. And it's at an angle because that's the way it sits in the body, it sits that way. Instead of the wings sitting flush like this, it kind of an angle sits in and kind of helps with the you know, gravity. Let's put it together and see how it looks. See so the way the magnet's pulling it as it is, ready? Just like that. And line up the key stock with the hole here. This is not something we've taken off every single day, so once it's on, it's on. There you go. It's on all the way. It's holding. It's holding pretty good. So I think we're all good. And it's really tough to pull apart, too. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> but that's what you want, though, right? So now we got, like I said, we have four points of uh, contact here. Um, we got the magnet here, the post, and the triangle. Actually, three on this one, actually. Four on that one. Because we have uh, the magnet here, the triangle peg, and the square key stock. But on here, we've got the magnet, the triangle, the brass square tubing, and also the magnet below that to grab the steel key stock on this thing. So, worked out pretty good. So I hope this helped you guys out. If anybody has a statue, I gotta repair this too, by the way. A little arrow I was grinding. See that right there? I gotta fill that in and touch it up before I put a display. Put the wings over it so you won't see it as much, but I know it's there. <laughs> Not you guys do too, so. It's gotta get fixed before I put it away, but um, hopefully it's helped you out with any kind of repair if you have something of this size. Or if you have the statue and you have that issue with the magnet coming out, like I did. If you wanted the lucky 300 people to have one of these. That's the best way to repair it. Get a really large magnet. These magnets are available on eBay. I paid things like twelve ninety nine for a dozen of them. So, and if you want to get them right away, I recommend finding a vendor in the U.S. Otherwise, you get good prices from from the China ones, China vendors. But it takes a good thirty to forty days to get them. So, if you're in a hurry, best thing to do is find a U.S. vendor. If you're not, and you're just trying to replenish your stock, then just order from China with those vendors, and if you have time, then it's fine. But anyway, um, alright, so that's that's it for this one. 
and I'll get some more videos going from some other projects and kits I'm working on. And we'll see you guys soon. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it helped you out. Give some likes and comments below if you're you know if you liked it. If you uh, thought it was a good repair, and um, if you have any questions. Thanks, guys, and we'll see you soon.